nine, if the left-handers have a good look, they could be very tough to beat today. One thing's for sure, both Parker Bone the third and Hugh Miller on the TV pair this week swept both of their matches. And a nice start for Parker Bone the third. One thing about a guy that's won 29 times, you never forget what it's like and what you need to do when you get to the TV show. 46-year-old Hugh Miller is his opponent. The other lefty today. A little double wood for him from the left side, the 3-8. Says he's very proud at his age to be making this sort of run after so many years off the tour for Hugh on a 10-year absence. Didn't bowl on a consistent basis. Tried a career in real estate. Enjoys this career much more. That's paid off. He's bowled very well. Leaves the nine. And open early for Hugh. And not the kind of start you would want or expect from Hugh Miller. Again, we see similar numbers here. And something that's very unusual, look at the low spare percentage for Parker Bone the third. Very unlike Parker. But he had the higher strike percentage and obviously helped him on the way here. Hugh Miller can become the lowest seed to win a title in the new format. The pocket he wanted on lane 45. We almost had this week the highest ever seed, Pete Weber at number one to go wire to wire from match play after qualifying all the way to the championship. But he loses to Barnes today in the wild card. And the one thing you're going to see throughout this match is, yes, they're both left-handed, but Parker hooks it more than Hugh Miller. Parker's going to be further right. Hugh Miller's going to be further left. Who is that guy on the bottom of the screen? I didn't see that. <laughs> Four up still for Parker, trying to go undefeated. Yes, Randy Peterson in Philadelphia. Parker comes in light. And whether you're left-handed or right-handed, this cluster here is called the bucket. It's one of the things that Parker struggled with all year. He's a thrower. He likes to throw hard. And he's had problems getting his ball to hook. He leaves a pin. Another open. We've seen plenty of those. Not great bowling in either match yet, Randy. What's the story? Well, again, the guys bowled the U.S. Open last week on a grind, and it was really difficult in a lot of games, in a major tournament. Now, this week, it was a little bit easier to get to the pocket, but I think they're so worn out from last week. Parker made the finals last week. Pete Weber made the show last week. These guys are tired. That's the ball he wanted. And again, remember, we saw the graphic, Parker Bones, very low spare percentage this week. This is a microcosm of the shot he threw in the first frame. And see, this ball grabs a lane in the back end and changes direction. The ball in the right lane did not. Fifth in Medford on the TV show. Last time he got that far, his match wins this week include the victory in three straight over a very frustrated Brian Smith. As he comes in oh, way that? high, right through the nose, Jesus and the big four. Well, he goes light the first frame, leaves a 3-9. And this only makes sense. You don't want to give it room when you go light. This ball's a little right of target, and he pays the ultimate penalty, the big four. So just gets the 4-7, the 6-10 still up, another open frame. All right. Two out of the first three for Hugh. You see in Parker's eyes, I mean, Parker looks tired. Last week, long grind. This week, making his first telecast. Still, Parker has bowled well in terms of his statistics this year. Much better ball and an improvement for Hugh on the left of the TV pair here today in Dallas. Pretty good shot here from Hugh Miller. Gets the, the, the four pin to take out the seven.
Parker tied for 17th at the Masters in Reno, 9th in Vegas, 7th at the U.S. Open last week. There's a three pin. You think the players or these two guys like the left lane because that's the only lane they've struck on so far? On the right lane, though, lane 46 here at Don Carter's All-Star Lanes in Dallas. It's been a total adventure. This Doesn't matter, lefty or righty. This could be our first, it, it, and is our first mark on that lane. A great year last year. Chris Schenkel, player of the year. Second time in his career he accomplished that. And so far this year, his big finishes in the majors. It's really, top 10, not bad. Really taking advantage of the double points in the majors, and that's why he's seventh on the point list without a win and without a TV show until today. Watching by ESPN in sync, it's lane 45. It's got to be a strike. Oh. Hugh Miller, being the higher seed, decided to choose what lane he was going to finish on and chose the left lane. That's the good lane. Hugh Miller won in Japan. Season opener in September. Different format though. Oh, want some help, nine pin. And the messenger would not here. give it to him. Solid eight for a right-hander, solid nine for a left-hander. What happens is this ball's perfect in the one, two, and the ball gets to the five pin and chops it straight back. The five pin doesn't do its job and leaves a solid nine. Hey, it's Mark. That's true. He's glad to have that on the right. But I misspoke earlier when I said that right Hugh Miller was the higher seed and he got to choose which lane he finished on. Parker was the higher seed, chose to finish on the right lane. Very interesting. Back to Hugh. Left-hander has got his father-in-law with him, Mike Gilligan, who drove down to Medford from the Seattle area. He's been with him every step of the way. Here we go. On this western swing. That certainly helps. He could I use want him some to help on that lane now. The last time Hugh Miller bowled Parker Bone the third was in Japan at the Dream Bowl. He beat Parker by 100 pins in a two-game match. It was Hugh's last title. And that was a TV appearance for Parker, although not on the U.S. side. This is his first domestic television appearance. Hugh Miller with an open early, some struggles. He's down 15 pins. Parker has an open on his second frame. Who will take charge in the Southpaw match? We find out next. And from one billionaire who owns real estate to a guy who used to sell real estate, Hugh Miller and our Dexter approach. Hugh Miller, 46 years of age, in great physical shape, and still using 16-pound equipment. But he's altered his game. Over the last five years, he's changed his approach. Watch the first two steps. They go to the right. What that does is that creates room for his swing to swing underneath his shoulder. Now, he has to fill in that spot, that four step going to the left. Now, watch the finish. He fills in the gap, and there the hand and the ball is nice and tight to the ankle to create the best possible leverage at release. Miller, the subject of this week's Dexter Approach. 